Hey, hey guys. guys, it's Neely and Daniel and welcome back to our YouTube video. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. All right, today we will be, well, I will be asking questions guys are afraid to ask girls. Okay? Oh you ready God. for a bit? No. <laughs> She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Bring it on. Okay. First question. Do you admire a guy after he chooses to be vulnerable and bear it all in front of you? I and I loves a man who shows his vulnerable side. Like cry in front of me, you know, tell me your heart desires, what makes me know what I, I was gonna think about Samson Delilah, but that's such a bad example. But the fact is, if you're my Samson, I won't be your Delilah. You can trust me with your secrets. So yeah, I believe a man that <laughs> yeah, blush. Hey. I believe a man that is able to be emotionally intelligent enough to know that it's okay to cry and be in touch with all sides of themselves. I find that very attractive. Mm -hmm. I think that's a stable man and it's a red flag if you don't know how to do that because then that shows me that you have either some repressed feelings and you don't know how to deal with your emotions and that may come out in the wrong way. I suppose he's not a crier, but he can express his feelings. However, yeah, once he can express his feelings. Mm. Mm. All right. But if he's not a crier and then says, man, not cry, wait, 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 wait. red flag. Next question. Why can't you why can't you decide where you want to eat? For women this is simple. Okay? I think men y'all are taking the wrong approach to the situation. You're looking at it as though we can't decide how to eat. But we're giving you an opportunity, right? To be a part of a very important aspect of our life complex decision making process exactly food we're allowing you to be a part of that decision making process right because we love you and we want you to be involved so i'm sorry i'm allergic to bullshit so maybe we should try men try shifting your perspective look at it this way. instead of she you know she wants to eat whatever 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 we're this is an opportunity navigate her options or exactly narrow her options that's it exactly exactly you're a part of that process and oftentimes it mm. can be maybe a test to show that hey you pay attention is every time is that this no i'm just saying it's not test as in we set it up okay, but i'm saying right. it shows us it's an opportunity for you to show us that you pay attention to what we like what we dislike so for example if me say oh me no more of eat and you know me eat burger king yeah and you say you want burger king then i'm like what the hell don't you know that i don't eat burger king why is that even an option so you know what my favorite food is so maybe take the opportunity and say hey you want to get some insert favorite food i'm gonna say yeah all right, so basically, our role as men when it comes on to deciding where to eat is to help to narrow down the options and not necessarily just to say she can't make up her mind. Mm. Do you want pockets in her clothing? That's all. Do you want pockets in your clothing? We need pockets, please. Women carry things. Having to carry a purse can be annoying. If we have a pocket, we just put a few little things in our pocket and be done with it. So yeah, we need pockets. I'm advocating for pockets right now. Sign here the petition. If we get one million signature and a thousand subscribers, <laughs> then women including will have pockets. Well, that's, that's so subscribe. Why the hard a conversion? Eh? Million, it don't matter subscribe a, a subscribe how can i present myself so that a woman would feel more comfortable approaching me approach you hey but say that man you live some soft life ask again 
how can I present myself so in a way that a woman would feel more comfortable approaching me? Okay, since the men of today want to be approached, let me just answer in the context of the question. No, hola, hola, la, 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 me never approach you yeah, well, like, wait, like wait, that if you never approach me me never approach you with that intention oh. Oh. approach you as a as a what long okay. story oh so you're approaching me with the intention of okay. maybe approach you like the guy that why did I approach you don't approach me so that would be creepy but I saw no one get approached the only one want to approach you Smell nice, rule one. Smell very nice, like the kind of smell where after you pass me, I still can smell you. Mm. Some good good cologne. Yeah, smell nice. Put yourself together, good. Mm -hmm. You know, for any of the most expensive stuff, but just in be neat and color coordinate your stuff well and just look good. Two, don't be obnoxious and loud. Like a man that is just enjoying his own space and he's just chill and just, you know, just... See, just like me, chill, chill. Chill. That's how you get approached, if you were to be approached. But, long story, next. How do you remember that annoying thing we did six years ago? Why did you just bring it up? Because men do that annoying thing over and over and over and over and over well, in again. This, in this con no, but in we're this, not so when we bring it up well, again and again and again. Then forget it. They keep doing it ago. again and again and again. But in this context, it's six years ago, yeah, bring it up again. Because you're leading down that path. So like a good shepherd, we have to use that as a rod for steer you away from destruction. You understand? Bring, just bring it, just yeah, bring let's it, just... Bring it back hey, to hey, hey! Remember where you're coming? You don't want to go there. But generally though, I don't bring up stuff from the past. I don't even remember yesterday properly. Much less six years ago. It have really hurt her to her core. It have really... really dig it up. Like. Cut me deep. But... Daniel, no, it's fine. In my mind, but not life will bring up stuff, really, no. What can we safely compliment? Are all it things related it. to appearance of limits? If you're not dating me and you're a stranger off of the street. Hey, girl, what a big girl. Mm. That's that. Mm. Not at all. Not at all. Mm. You don't, you don't, you don't know me, sir. But then again, you don't know me, so you can't compliment. You can't, you're not gonna compliment um, non-physical things. You don't know me. But I think it's how you do it. I can't let me big potato. Like you, but you say, oh wow, you have a very nice, a nice smile. smile. Yeah, you'd be like, yeah. You know, it's the approach too that goes a far away. If you get a compliment, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's uh -huh, smile. Thank you. I'm gonna keep it pushing. I'm mm -hmm. moving. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, marriage now. What for marriage now in the concept of marriage now? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's no boundaries. You compliment everybody, everybody, every well, everybody. <laughs> be, and you I love a right? personality there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving right along. How uncomfortable is it wearing a pad? A pad? Yeah. <sighs> ah, boy. Homo. 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 How do I help you guys understand? It is. Okay, first yeah, of all. Yes. Okay. But it's it's dependent on the flow and the whole other stuff, right? Heavy flow, medium flow, mm -hmm. and it's oh. <sighs> mm. 
it's uncomfortable bad you have women who change them bad very often get them care about that. luckily yeah. we have other options that aren't so bad so you have the tampon you have the cup you have pregnancy for nine months you will have no period mm -hmm. you know we have options to avoid wearing the pad but when you're wearing tampons it's not uncomfortable no do you women really notice everything like everything um if you're a woman that pays attention i have an eye for details then yeah I, but i think women notice things that they care about so if you're a woman that likes when your man look nice and you like fashion and you like just seeing him presentable you're gonna notice when him mm -hmm. tie lean you're gonna notice when him shoes are clean you're gonna notice certain things if you're a woman who maybe likes teeth or hair, you're gonna notice when him line up lean. You're gonna notice when something I'm teeth. Like if you're a woman who just like a clean space, you are gonna notice, notice when mm. him not do things properly. Yeah, that's that's true. And uh, especially with you, when it comes down to especially the fashion and grooming, she does she does see everything. Even Listen. if I mean, sometimes I see that and she said, "No, Daniel." Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Welcome from far. I'm gonna tell a story. Fashionably challenged. Story time, and this is how we know. Say challenged. That's putting it lightly. Story time. Severely. No money. I'm gonna tell no about the guy with me fall in love. With. So when me and Daniel, let me Daniel. Daniel usually <laughs> wear. Don't bring an orange shoes. Daniel usually wear one big orange sneakers. Everywhere, no, I'm, I know I'm big, aren't she? Well, if he at the white sneakers, he big. Daniel, you wear size okay, he wears size 12, right? So, you know, him foot already big, and the big the sneakers are so huge. That was a white, like the white sneakers, they, they big and odious. The white right. and the orange one, I'm you know, the, you know, the woman with the pitting them in the shoes. And the shoes that them did live in uh, that orange and sneakers, and then they wear the orange sneakers. It, every outfit every color matter of fact he had a staple he had a staple i wonder if he clean or dirty a good man let's keep the orange check. sneakers and the black and white striped shirt i got a dick for the picture just to put it just with the, the shirt mm. matter of fact you have the shirt name jar right oh now and he wore everything anyways i love him because he's a nice guy but we know she, when he no, asked me now well, like no? six seven eight years ago all right. So he asked me to so, be his well, I'm gonna tell my story. So he asked me to be his girlfriend. And I said, under one condition. What was it? Yeah. But tell you have to dash the orange sneakers. If you have to dash the orange sneakers, I could do it. Anyways, if dash the orange sneakers, so here we are. I feel all traumatized. I think back by you and the iron sneakers. I may walk up and down in a college with you and the iron sneakers. Boy, I love really blind. Do you say you're fine when obviously you're not? And then get mad at us when we try to help. Okay, that's a very loaded question. Let's break it down. One, let's just make it clear that I don't do that 90% of the time. Okay. 90% of the time. Okay, for women who say them fine. When I'm obviously mad. Different from apart from people who don't know how to communicate, right? So let's take them out of the equation. Sometimes we say we're fine when we're obviously mad because one, we're frustrated, right? Maybe we've been trying to explain to you what was wrong and the tough skull, clunk, 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 clunk. Now nah, I get it. So we're like, you know what? It's okay. We're fine. I will just leave it alone. Two, if I'm visible upset, why you ask if I'm upset? Why you ask? And sometimes I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want to do. And now I come and ask, I couldn't know what to do. I'm visibly upset at something that you did, I know you do. Why you ask me again? Does you know if you come, come and apologize? Come in an apology. No man, sometimes we as man, we actually know why you're upset. So I really ask how we would help you sometimes. And sometimes it's how, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's how because you can't see so it's like seeing somebody mad as a calm down. Them never calm down. It's the opposite. You have to know you have to try different approaches. 
right? When it comes to solution, solution. Sometimes we don't want a solution. We just want you to listen to it. We just want somebody to hear what we are saying. And to see our point of view. Now, for solutionalize everything. So in a chemistry class, I need a solution. <laughs> All right. Unless you ask an advice. Unless my ask if you a okay. solution. Okay, guys, take notes you now. Take notes. Ooh. When your platonic friends are males, do you want to be treated exactly how they treat their male friends? Want to be one of the bros? Or you want him to treat you um, as 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 a female? Save your cutie, cutie, duty, duty for your woman and your yard. Mm-hmm. I want to chill. Me no want feel uncomfortable. Me no want no girlfriend treatment. Me no want to get up at the middle of the night and come help me start my car and come out to your bed yeah, with the yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For care, me go that supermarket. Man. Like, no, 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 no. Come in and give you no special man treatment. Okay, you're not my man. You understand? Clear. Covered. Govern. Unless. Unless what? Unless. You see, if you see, if it's totally single, but you. No. You no, 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 you, no, 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 no. If two of it's single, yeah, that's a God, God, that make it worse when I want a special <laughs> yeah, treatment. Friends, Especially if me not want you. Especially if you, if you have romantic feelings, but you're still in a platonic friendship um, lane. <laughs> so, and she, she, she just think of that's you. That's a like, whole, that's a whole cake oh, laughing. Okay, is there any other question that you have for Moa? Is it a deal breaker? If a guy is a, a mommy's boy. If he's a deal breaker. Hey, hey. It's a deal shatterer. It's a deal crumbler. Expound, man. Expound the passion. First of all, my mother said to me, say, if you find a mama's boy, run. I know she remember. What remember she tell me? And she love their mothers, right? right? right and how they right. treat and their mothers yes, and right. shows a lot how they mother treat you. But you see that emotional attachment, that unhealthy one. Me not deal the with that. one. Yeah, because remember, you know, when you marry a man, or when you date a man, but especially when you marry a man, you marry his family. Right? Mm-hmm. And if he go constantly rely on his mother for everything more than he relies on you, that's a problem. Mm-mm. Remember, you know, God say, you know, you leave, leave your parents, you leave your parents, you know, and you cleave onto your spouse, you know. So I know he's number one woman. No apologies about that. You still love your parents, but it cannot be that Some healthy boundaries, your mother no. have healthy more boundaries, say no. in a, our right. relationship than me as the mm-hmm. woman. Hey, I'm big. <laughs> That's crazy. I need a man who is strong enough for stand up. Pan him two foot them. You see me? Some boundaries. Mm. Mm-hmm. And show me that he's an independent man. As again, I say, love your mother. But if you think you say you're a data mama's boy and just because you marry him now, things are just of magically it. change. Mm-hmm. And if that man has an overbearing mother, me now say you can't deal with him you now. But your man have for sure you say he will defend you, he will stand up for you, and he never make the opinions and parents even come close to him. He mm. will draw the line before you have a draw the line. He has your back. As your back. You understand? But if you're gonna have a man who just eh, my mother say, eh, 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 my mother say. Go for yourself with that. Go there with your mother. Cause you're not ready for this thing, yourself. They love your mother, but this is now your family. Your you've created a family. You see? Take that notes. was very loaded. Take notes, take but notes. I'm not saying because I see it. Um, me see other women, women know struggle with it, and it it's a lot on them psyche. 
it's very emotionally draining Bakawa. You know, the in law relationship is a tricky one. Yeah. You don't want to disrespect your in law car, yeah. or your in law, or your, you know, or your husband, mother. And <laughs> but so you not really want to disrespect him. So you are waiting for him for really step up in front of you as a shield for say, yeah, this can't work. This is my wife. No, no, no. And if him now do that, mm-hmm. you're not trouble. Trouble. Yes. <laughs> And for them mother, they, they, who don't want to let go them son, on no a weird. Next. Oh, the There's no more <laughs> next. All right, so remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe. Subscribe. And remember that we post on Tuesdays. <laughs> so, Tuesdays, new video. Every Tuesday. Right, I saw. Add pan a seat. Yeah. Yeah, as yeah. we are on our way to a thousand subscribers. I hope that song will come and not take it out. <laughs>